In a land of ancient times, there was a man named Jonah. Known for his wisdom, but sometimes stubborn, he was about to face a great challenge. Jonah was very kind. People in the city came to him for help because he was wise and gave good advice. He loved talking to God and prayed a lot, showing he really cared about being good and kind. One sunny day, God spoke to Jonah. Jonah, you must go to Nineveh, a city lost in wickedness. They do not believe in me and their evil ways have reached me. In 40 days, I will destroy Nineveh unless you change them. But Jonah was afraid and didn't want to go. Instead of going to Nineveh, Jonah boarded a ship to Tarshish, hoping to escape his daunting task. Out at sea, a fearsome storm erupted. The sailors, terrified, wondered who had brought this misfortune. Meanwhile, Jonah slept below deck, unaware of the danger. The sailors cast lots to find the cause of the storm, and the lot fell on Jonah. He confessed, I am running from God's task. Throw me into the sea, and the storm will cease. Reluctantly, the sailors threw Jonah into the raging sea. Miraculously, the storm stopped. The sailors were awestruck and pledged to serve Jonah's God. In the deep, Jonah was swallowed by a giant whale. Inside, it was dark and damp, a strange room. Jonah prayed earnestly, realizing he could not hide from his duty. He promised to fulfill God's command if he was saved. After three days, the whale spat Jonah out near Nineveh. Jonah was thankful and knew it was time to complete his mission. Jonah walked through Nineveh, a city of people who were wicked and did not believe in God. He warned them, in 40 days, Nineveh will be destroyed unless you change your ways. He told them all about the story of the ship and the whale. The people listened to Jonah and started to change, turning from their evil deeds. When 40 days had passed, Jonah camped out in the desert to see what would happen to the city. The people of Nineveh now believed in God and repented. God saw their change of heart and did not destroy the city. After Nineveh was saved, Jonah felt upset. Huh? He couldn't understand why God spared a city that had been so bad. God wanted to teach Jonah about caring. So God made a special plant grow to give Jonah shade from the hot sun. Jonah liked the plant a lot. But the next day, God let a worm eat the plant and Jonah was very hot and unhappy. God asked Jonah, Do you care about the plant? Jonah said yes. God then said, You care about a plant, but I care about all the people in Nineveh, especially the children and animals. They made mistakes, but they deserve a chance to be better. The story of Jonah teaches us about being kind and forgiving. Even when people do bad things, they can change and be good again. 